It's Friday, November 7th, 2014. Here's your two-minute dose of Lake County News. It's The Flash. The Tuesday, November 4th election resulted in a very close race for Lake County Sheriff. Uncertified results from the clerk's office show that Mike Taylor barely defeated incumbent Phil McDonald by less than 250 votes. Voter turnout was exceptionally high for a midterm election, Lake County having the highest percentage turnout of any county in the state of Oregon at 80.7%. That's almost 3,300 of the 4,070 registered voters in Lake County submitting ballots. There was more going on than just voting on election day, as members of Umpqua Bank in Lakeview traveled around town handing out free ice cream treats to local businesses. Store manager Jenny Strauch said that the effort wasn't necessarily for marketing purposes, but more so just to put a smile on people's faces. Employees at Umpqua took turns traveling to different businesses around town to surprise people with treats. In preparation for a contagious illness possibly striking Lake County, such as Ebola, the Lake County Public Health Department put on a realistic scenario on Wednesday, November 5th at the Lake County Fairgrounds. Warnings went up around town that a made-up virus known as AK-47 was infecting the populace, with participants in the drill gathering at the fairgrounds to receive their annual flu shot, which was prescribed as a vaccine to AK-47. In sports, both Lakeview High School girls volleyball and boys soccer lost in the opening round of the state playoffs, which officially ended fall sports season. Up at North Lake School, the football team held a banquet that honored its Cowboys players, which included district awards being issued. Cameron McCord received first team all league punter and honorable mention quarterback honors, while Tristan Grassman and Daniel Leibold earned second team honors. Similar postseason banquets will take place next week for North Lake volleyball, Lakeview High School football, boys soccer, and girls volleyball. Well, there's the buzzer, so that does it for us this week. Be sure to follow us on all of these social media sites, and thank you for checking out this week's edition of the Lake County Flash. We'll have a new episode next Friday covering a two-minute news brief of all things Lake County. Thank you to Honker Realty for supporting this edition of the Lake County Flash, and be sure to contact Susie Cahill at Honker Realty for all of your property management and housing needs at 541 417 one three four zero.